For the past week, everyone's been speaking about Batista's return. To be honest, for the past few weeks, they've been talking about Batista's inevitable return come January the 20th, 2014. And while I certainly am curious, I mean, it's been years since I saw Batista on television, I certainly know how things are treading, how the direction of WWE is steering. You see, Batista is older than Triple H, although he de debuted much later. Triple H was in WWE. F back in 95, and Batista's debuted in 02. So I doubt that people are going to be surprised if he takes short breaks and comes back every now and then. I mean, Triple H has taken more of a backstage role. He's not wrestling every week like he used to. He'll definitely be present for the major pay-per-views like WrestleMania and SummerSlam with a filler pay-per-view here and there. However, Batista is injury-prone. He's the king of botching. I mean, they've called him Botchtista. And... I'm sure his movie career has softened him a little bit. Physically, he looks good. But then again, The Rock looks better physically than he did in his 20s. I mean, compared to now, The Rock from the 90s looks like a dorky Rob Schneider. And... Now he just looks badass, yet his in-ring performances, his match against CM Punk and John Cena of this year, have all been disappointments. I mean, he's visibly winded, and even though he's in the gym a lot, The Rock hasn't been, he hasn't been hacking it. And again, The Rock is much younger, like three years younger, I'm not gonna exaggerate, than both Triple H and Batista. In fact, a lot of the people that are easily bigger main eventers than John Cena and more deserving of the spot are in that point where their special attractions that are just for WrestleMania bookings. Undertaker, Lesnar, you name it. Triple H, The Rock, inevitably Batista. And I'm sure Big Show is crying internally now because he's had a long career with a lot of impressive moments, especially in his WCW days, he was able to do moonsaults, and he was feuding with Hulk Hogan. Yet, he isn't going to have that veteran status. I mean, they've been using him as a joke his entire WWF career, and it's a very sad joke, because he's had moments. He's even in the past year, and the year prior to that, he's had moments. He's had badass spots. He's had interesting feuds. Yet, he's always in weird storylines. They turn him heel and face at a drop of a hat. They want to focus on him being an actor when he's not. So he's never going to reach that level. Batista, however, while his first few movies were direct to DVD and they didn't draw a dime, really, in his theater film with that 
rapper that it, I actually saw the film a few months ago. He had like the gauntlets and he was punching really hard. He was a black guy, of course. That film didn't make a lot of money yet. His past two films have actually drawn. Especially the last one, I believe. So, the next one, now that he's back in the WWE to basically promote it, that's going to definitely draw. At this moment, I can only speculate that he's not going to be a heavy in-ring performer, especially since he's focused on his movie career, so he doesn't want to get another injury, which he is prone to getting. But, who am I to predict the future? I mean, I say my predictions are mostly false. And when I do get something right, I'm like an Austrian. I'll never let that go. Ugh. But I am curious as to who they're going to have him beef with at Mania. A lot of people want to see... Lesnar take on Batista. They want to see an animal versus the beast. And it's something that's been hyped up for a while now. It's a dream match. In fact, some autistic people have called it the biggest dream match of them all. And... I'm going to say that it's the biggest conceivable dream match at the moment. Punk versus Austin, not so much. Austin versus Hogan, that'd be like seeing a scrawnified, washed up redneck take on a dinosaur hot dog with a nice ass skullet. And that's also kind of turning into a walrus with his figure. It's a dream match in terms of their history, yet in actuality, a singles match like that isn't going to be executed very well. And quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of CM Punk going back to that dream match, having to carry other people. As a wrestler... He's the type of person that will carry a lesser person or a person of lower condition or talent. Yet he's not perfect at it. I mean, he tried, but he didn't save his match versus a rock. He put him in a, his place for the first promo with both of them. But really, no. The guy's... Injuries are coming back to haunt him. They're catching up with him. He's not an athletic person. He's very limited in his movesets in the ring. Yet, his in-ring storytelling, that's what everyone's into. And that's what he excels at when it comes to performing in the ring. So I'm curious as to what they're going to do with Batista. I really am. I hope for the best. Regardless, those are just my thoughts.